Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our series on urban energy modeling with Dragonfly. Uh, and you'll remember in the previous video, we created this, we exported our Dragonfly model into a Honeybee model so that we can visualize it. Uh, and one of the first things that we noticed is that there were no windows assigned to any of our uh, our Dragonfly objects here. So right now, I just want to assign some windows uh, to my Dragonfly buildings here. Right, and so the way that we do this, I'm going to go back over to the Dragonfly tab. And I'm going to make, I'm going to actually make a good amount of space in between where we created our Dragonfly buildings from footprints and where we're ultimately visualizing our Honeybee model over here. Okay. All right. And so you'll see under the create, the first tab of Dragonfly, there's actually kind of a whole little subsection here devoted to just different types of, of windows uh, that you can add to your Dragonfly objects. Um, so you'll see actually there are ways to do like, you know, uh, repeating windows by width and height. Uh, we're repeating windows by ratio or, or just a singular ribbon window. You can even do detailed windows if you want. But I think for this model, right, I, I'm, I'm really just trying to get a sense of energy. So I think it'll be good enough just to get the window ratio correct. So if I drag and drop this DF uh, simple window ratio component onto the canvas, you'll see that it's a super simple component, right? It takes a single number, uh, which is our ratio and then spits out a window parameter object that we can then assign to these Dragonfly buildings. So I'm going to keep it very simple right now. I'm just going to assign a window ratio of 40% to all the buildings and all orientations. So I'm going to pull up a panel with 0.4 inside of it, and I'll connect that up to the ratio. And then you see out of this, pull up a panel so you guys can see, right? It's a window parameter object, right? Just a simple window ratio. Uh, and so the way that we can assign this to our Dragonfly objects is with a component that's also under the Create tab here. It's just called DF Apply Facade Parameters. Okay. If I drop this on the canvas, you'll see that this takes a Dragonfly object as input, just like our Dragonfly buildings, for example. Uh, and it takes our window parameters and we'll assign those the, to, to those building objects. All right. So I'll plug into our building objects here. And then I'm going to plug in our window parameters here. And now out of this component, we're going to get, you know, pretty much just, you know, something similar to what we plugged in, right? We're getting our building object, but now they should have these windows assigned to them. Um, all right. So I'm just going to group this all together. And we, instead of plugging in these buildings to make our Dragonfly model, I'm going to connect up these new buildings over here. And now when we go to look at the, the preview in, uh, of the Honeybee models in the scene, right, we'll see that we actually get um, window windows assigned to these Dragonfly objects, All right? So, okay, so at least now we're we're almost at the point that this is really something we'd, we'd be happy to simulate. Um, you guys will notice that you, shading parameters work pretty much the same way that window parameters do. If you looked under the Create tab, there's a section, you know, where you can specify parameters for louvers, uh, right? And those have a set of parameters that define them. Uh, there's a section for uh, just a simple overhang that's basically just a depth and an angle. And right, you'll see that all the parameter components, right, if, if you look at the repeating window ratio, right, they're all basically structured like this, where you put in a set of instructions for how you want the windows to be generated, and you assign those to the Dragonfly objects. And then when those Dragonfly objects eventually get translated to Honeybee, they become these detailed window geometries that you see here. So all right, I'm not going to assign any shading geometries to this, uh, and I think I'll leave... I'll leave basically, well, maybe one more thing that I want to show you guys is that you can, just as you could in Honeybee, assign different uh, window ratios uh, based on orientation. You can do the same thing with uh, with these uh, Dragonfly window parameters here. So what if I'm just going to grab, uh, let's see, the same component that we used in Honeybee to do this. So there's a uh, HP facade parameters component. And this just allows you to say, you know, I want to use a different value for the north, east, south, and west. Uh, and maybe I can say that, you know, 40% is what I want to use on the north and south. But, you know, east and west, I'm trying to minimize, you know, the, the high solar gain I get on those. So I'm going to use like 0 0.25 on, you know, as the ratio for those instead. And I can plug in a different value there. And you'll see, I mean, all that the facade parameters component is doing here, it's just giving us a list of values. But now if I plugged in this list of values to our ratio here, right, you'll see it actually is going to use a different ratio. Actually, maybe I can make this more extreme. I can use like 0 0.6 on the south and north, right? So this is where you guys can really see, right? It's applying a different ratio depending upon the orientation of, of uh, the different parts of the building. 
So I just want you guys to be aware that you know this the same capability exists in a lot of the Honeybee uh, window assigning components. I just really wanted you guys to be aware that it also exists in Dragonfly. So all right, so you've gotten a sense of how to apply windows and, and generate windows uh, for your Dragonfly model. Uh, and in the next video, we're going to look at how we can separate the the top stories and bottom stories so we can accurately account for the heat flow through the roof and, and through the floor surface to the ground. Uh, so thank you guys for joining through this video, and I'll see you in the next one.